your boy Smokers Watch T, the Milkman, the Silk Man, and we always back with the first ever video on the 76 Smokers channel. Make sure y'all subscribe, but let's get on to the pros and cons of trading investments and who we're going to trade for, but let's get right into this. There's a lot of pros trading Ben Simmons. I mean, his lack of spacing hurts this team. So trading Ben Simmons and getting him off your roster can improve your spacing and having guys like Joel Embiid or having guys like Tobias Harris create their own space and not to clog up the paint. So there can be a lot of pros for trading Ben Simmons, but what is the cons of trading Ben Simmons? Now, the cons of trading Ben Simmons is his production. I mean, the production Ben Simmons produces is over the top. I mean, you cannot get that out of anybody. A guy who's going to chase for rebounds, a guy who's going to play very good defense, a very solid playmaker for a side, a guy who runs down the court with speed. I mean, Ben Simmons is a solid package for his size, but... Are you really going to miss him? I mean, if you made this trade right now, it's win now or win later. His trade stock is plummeting after these type of games you've been having. These nine point triple doubles, these nine point double doubles. I mean, you're going to have to find a very good trade in order to help the Sixers team. But today, we're going to fix that. We're going to find any trade to trade Ben Simmons and see how it could help this team in any type of way now most of the trades i did on espn trade machine and literally everything was successful so i want to hear stop smoking crack kid all these trades are not realistic uh you know <laughs> but yo they worked but let's get on to the first trade and we're going to do ben simmons for concord Mas, matisse Thibel, and a couple picks for Bradley Bill and Troy Brown Jr. Now, trading Matisse Thibel is going to be the hardest part for me because since Ben Simmons is not performing well, you're going to have to add one of these young pieces, either Tyrus Maxey, Shake Milton, or Matisse Thibel. Matisse Thibel, he's going to have to go. Sorry. But Fort Con Corkmaz, with the emergence of Isaiah Joe, Fort Con Corkmaz doesn't really look like he's going to be the future of this Sixers team so I'll rather choose Isaiah Joe and then you're going to give Wizards what they wanted in Ben Simmons and he's going to try to carry his load in Washington while we get Bradley Bill who is by far a top three scorer in this league and most definitely a top three shooting guard in this league and pairing him with Joel Embiid and Tobias Harris could do good for his team and scoring wise it do too and we're going to have our newest addition in Troy Brown Jr., another scoring wing that we can pair off the bench with Shake Milton, Tyrese Maxey, and guys like Isaiah Joe. He has scoring potential, so we picked him up too. But these are the starting lineups with Bradley Bill in. We have Seth Curry. We have Bradley Bill. We have Danny Green. We have Tobias Harris, and we have Joel Embiid. The only thing this starting lineup lacks is playmaking going to lack playmaking and you're going to lack defense in this starting lineup but overall this is a solid starting lineup if you ask me but the projected lineup is Tyrese Maxey I'm still keeping shake off the bench because we need those two sparks off the bench then we're gonna have a shooter in Isaiah Joe who's going to split his minutes with Troy Brown Jr. then you have going Mike Scott and then you have Dwight Howard but I tried my hardest to find a Zach Levine trade. It was kind of hard because the Bulls are over the luxury tax. But the only trade that worked for me off that ESPN machine was Zach Levine, former team style, Danny Green, and Vincent Poyer. I'm going to add a couple picks because you can't really add picks in ESPN machine. But whatever picks is available, I will add. I'm going to say loads of picks. But... This is just a projected lineup with Zach Levine in, but we're going to have Seth Curry, Zach Levine, Ben Simmons, Tobias Harris, and Joel Embiid. Y'all let me know if y'all would do this trade and keep Ben Simmons, or would you ship Ben Simmons and get another star to add with Joel Embiid? But let's get on to the next one, which is CJ McCollum, 
Gary Trent Jr. for Ben Simmons and a couple first round picks. Now, this is a very good trade. I mean, you're getting Gary Trent Jr. is one of the league premier 3 and D players, probably one of the more underrated 3 and D players in this league. I mean, the man can score, he can lock up on defense, and the man can dribble. So, Gary Trent Jr. can score too, but you're getting one of the most underrated isolation players in the game right now in CJ McCollum. He can be your closer, he can be your main scorer, he can help Joel and beat on most of his things, create the space. I mean, CJ McCollum be the perfect package for us. I mean, this is our projected lineup. I had Seth Curry, CJ McCollum, Danny Green, Tobias Harris, and Joel Embiid. This lineup will give you tons of spacing, but the only thing you will lack is playmaking, you know? But I don't want to put Shake in the lineup yet because I still want that spark off the bench. But we're going to need a point guard anytime soon. But the starting lineup with mean, the bench is Tyrese Maxey. Gary Trent Jr., Shake Milton, Mike Scott, and Dwight Howard. You can have Gary Trent and Matisse Thibel and Isaiah Joe like split minutes, but this is a perfect bench. You're going to have a lot of scoring off the bench, and you're going to have some defense with Gary Trent Jr. and Dwight Howard. Now, this is the Spurs trade. I say this is a desperate trade, you know, if you're just trying to get rid of Ben Simmons. DeMar DeRozan, Keldon Johnson, Lonnie Walker for Ben Simmons and a couple picks. I mean, you're getting DeMar DeRozan who cannot shoot the three, but this man can get the job done, whether it's the finishing game or the mid-range. I mean, DeMar DeRozan could be a solid addition along with Keldon Johnson, a young wing that we can add off the bench. And then we're getting another guard in Lonnie Walker who's an athletic guy who can create his own shot. Lonnie Walker would be a very good addition. Now, this team would be a little bit weird with DeMar DeRozan. You know, you still have Seth Curry as a point guard. You're going to have DeMar DeRozan, then Danny Green, then Tobias Harris and Joel Embiid. I mean, they're still not going to have no spacing problems. I mean, DeMar DeRozan can be your scorer and can be your closer, but this is my starting lineup. Let's get on to the next trade, which is another trade I think is desperate. If you just want to get Ben Simmons out your hands, Ben Simmons for Gary Harris, Michael Porter Jr., and Will Bart. Now, you're getting a young star in Michael Porter Jr., who can possibly average 20 for you. He's currently averaging 19 points per game, but Michael Porter Jr. can get the job done. And you're getting a veteran presence in Will Barton, who can score very well. I mean, he can give you that James Ennis role, that, that grind and hustle. And then you have Gary Harris is going to be that scorer off the bench, or you can possibly put him in the starting lineup. I feel like Doc Rivers can unlock his scoring potential and i really think that gary harris could be a good addition to this team but this is my projected starting lineup i'm gonna have shake milton at the one now and then you're gonna have seth curry at the two then michael porter jr at the three and then at the four tobias harris and at the five joel and bead you know you still get your scoring now you get your playmaking back so that's a plus and now let's get on to the bench we're gonna have tyrese maxi gary harris Danny Green, and Mike Scott, and then you have Dwight Howard. You're still going to get your playmaking. You're still going to get your scoring off the bench with Gary Harris and Tyrese Maxey. Now you have shooting with Danny Green, Isaiah Joe, and then you have Will Barr and Mike Scott. You know, but y'all let me know about every trade that I just did and which trade would you choose. What trade would you choose? I would personally choose that Blazers trade, but y'all let me know. But it's being a boy smoke a TV. Got some more bangers coming out. Subscribe and we out. You. I count on my money, now you got it up, it up. Y'all niggas be careful, y'all internet actin' up. up I can't wait till the day till y'all internet actin' up Actin' up again uh, Put nigga, I know you put that it again. It's all of you sinks in the grass Like, little nigga, you better get back, get back again. I don't know why you keep talking like, baby, girl, stop with the chit-chat If you got a problem